You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. All writers are prone to becoming so attached to our characters and stories that we struggle to see why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing to full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, shaping stories into masterpieces that can stand the test of time. Editing services are provided for all genres and all age categories. Services range from critiques of the short story through to the line edits of the full-length novel and copy editing for those preparing for publication. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's file for your website, as well as help with those book blurbs and promotional material. We won't abandon you to the masses. We want to celebrate with you and your successes. Black Wolf Editorial Services. Nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services and prices, visit us at blackwolfeditorial.com. Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control over your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problems now by calling the experts at Tax Mediation Services and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may May allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. Tax Mediation Services is accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Call now for a free case review and a price protection guaranteed quote. Call Tax Mediation Services now at 800-610-9050. That's 800-610-9050. 800-610-9050. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable, everyday carry, or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Defending Liberty one hour at a time and broadcasting live from the RWB Network Studios in New York City, this is the Rhino Report. Always right. You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Uh, I've now been in 57 states. I think one left to go. We are going to raise taxes on the metal what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. You are very rude. We are going to make America great again. USA! 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 It's all America. Let's roll. 
And now, here's your host, the Rhino, the new sheriff of town. Hey, hello, hello, I am the Rhino, and this is my report. We are coming to you today from the RWB Network Studios here in the People's Democratic Republic of New York and distributed by CRN Digital Talk Radio. So beer, babes, and baby back ribs. What's not to like? Sounds like a winning combination to me. However, if you're a guy in the Tampa area, you may not be able to enjoy such pleasures all in one spot anymore. The restaurant chain Hooters is undergoing a sort of transformation process, a reduction, if you will. Their newest outpost in Tampa, Florida, set to open in mid-February, is taking, well, it's it's, it's taking off the, the iconic tight shirt and short shorts look for something more representative of its main clientele. Yeah, men will now be helping to man the counter at this quick-service version of the old owl's nest. No word yet on what their attire might be, as if you needed one more reason to despise the feminist movement. All right, let's get to today's headlines. First, racist, homophobes, and xenophobes, oh my, they took over UC Berkeley Wednesday night. The self-proclaimed birthplace of free speech did its best to look more like Ferguson and Baltimore, as anarchists and agitators violently protested a planned speech by Breitbart news editor Milo. Was it because he's gay, or was it because he's a conservative? Either way, so much for free speech. Also, for the second straight day, Democrats on the Hill have refused to go to work. And, well, for the second straight day, it didn't really matter. Refusing to play the Democrats' little reindeer games Republicans on the Environmental Committee sent Scott Pruitt's nomination for EPA secretary to the Senate for a full vote. And, despite what you may read, hear, or see on mainstream media, President Trump's executive order banning travel from seven terrorist hotbed nations is actually pretty popular. And we have the numbers to back it up. We have all that, plus the Tillerson Rex finally stomps his way into the State Department... DHS Secretary John Kelly puts forth a rather ambitious timeline for completing Trump's big, beautiful wall. And color me surprised, Megyn Kelly already making enemies at her new home, NBC. But first, let's kick this show off the same way we always do. Let's salute our country with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the to speed it up just a little bit. They're dragging behind, guys. Check out the website, rhinoreport.com, rhinoreport.com. And as always, you can email me, rhino, R-Y-N-O, at rwbnetwork.com. Hang in there. Located in the heart of Maui's premier resorts, Kanapali Beach Hotel is officially recognized as Hawaii's most Hawaiian hotel and the number one best value in Hawaii. With a range of accommodations and affordable dining options, this is the ideal setting to turn Hawaiian dreams into lifelong memories. Live Hawaiian entertainment every evening, free year-round children's programs, weekly arts and crafts fairs, welcome breakfast, and departure kakui lei ceremonies add to the value. Swim in the whale-shaped pool, indulge in the fabulous spa and hotel salon. Enjoy Hawaiian hospitality at its best at the Ka'anapali Beach Hotel. Call 800-262-8450 or go to kbhmaui.com. That's kbhmaui.com. Aloha. Today, but first, let's do our big shout out to everyone listening on Red Nation Rising Radio, the Liberty Feed, as well as streamingtalkradio.com, klrnradio.com, and crntalk.com. Got to download that app, by the way. CRN app, it's in your Google Play or iTunes Store. Go do that right now, right now. 
Also, a big hello to everyone listening on the streaming live version on westernfreepress.com. And some articles there, lots of cool stuff on Western Free Press. Got to check that out. Um, so Hooters, this is a this is a a change, quite literally, getting rid of uh, the iconic, the tight shirt, the short shorts, the whole thing at this new quick service restaurant in Tampa. I know, I'm not real happy about it either. Um, but hey, listen, I guess it, 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 they got to make a change. Maybe they're not doing so well. So let's put some dudes behind the counter, see what they can muster up. This is going to be more of like a Chipotle style thing they're saying uh, where you walk in and you tell them what you want and they throw the chicken wings through a, I don't know, a, I don't know, an oven or something and they come out the other end and they maybe garnish them. I don't know. I don't know. Now the Hooters around here, a few of them closed up. They're all gone. I know there's a few around still, but there's a better place than that actually. I was watching this show, uh, Undercover Boss, and this had to be... I don't know, a few months ago. I think it was a replay from a few years ago. But I had never heard of this restaurant called Twin Peaks. No one has ever told me about this place. I'm thinking about moving to a location closer to one of these places. But Hooters, they're going away. Going away, you can go there. I I hope they don't have the dudes wearing short shorts and tight shirts. I hope they're going to avoid that at least. Put them in a t-shirt, pair of jeans, here's your chicken wings... The game is on that small TV in the corner. That's what it sounds like is happening there. But that is not today's big news. Of course, we have to talk about the groundhogs. I think every town has groundhogs. Here on Long Island, we have uh, uh, Malvern Mel. Malvern Mel. And then, of course, New York City has Staten Island Chuck. Well... They used to have Staten Island Stan until Mayor de Blasio killed it. Yeah, he dropped it. Broke its neck. No more Staten Island Stan. Didn't matter if he saw his shadow. He didn't see his shadow. He saw Bill de Blasio and he killed himself. That's what happened there. So now we have Staten Island Chuck. I'm not sure if it's an offspring of Stan or not. So I think Chuck Chuck didn't see his shadow. And he's saying spring is around the corner. Punxsutawney Phil, the one we all kind of look to for our weather forecast, because let's be honest, he's just as accurate as any weatherman out there, or weather woman, sorry. He predicted six more weeks of winter. All right, I'm going with him. I'm going with Phil. Because here in the Northeast, at least, and of course Punxsutawney Phil is in Pennsylvania, we haven't had much of a winter we had a couple of inches of snow here and there it's been for the most part pretty mild it's going to be a terrible tick in mosquito season come come summertime so maybe punxatawney phil has this one now they come up with this little uh little rhyme if you will a poem that they come up with that that the groundhog says and punxatawney phil came out and he said it's mighty cold weather you've been braving Is it more winter or is it spring that you're craving? Since you've been up all night and starting to toddle, I, Punxsutawney Phil, shall not dwaddle. My faithful followers, I could clearly see a beautiful, perfect shadow of me. Six more weeks of winter it shall be. Now, for those of you who are not sure, the groundhog does not actually talk. Uh, You got to go over this stuff. People don't know. You got these kids in these colleges, they got Play-Doh, they got these these, uh, therapy dogs, they're drinking hot cocoa, they just don't know. They may think a talking groundhog exists. So we have to clear this up. He doesn't actually talk. In fact, um, the committee, yeah, there's a committee for this stuff. It's the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club's Inner Circle. That's what the committee's called. They come up uh, with the weather forecast uh, a, a day or two in advance. Now, since 1887, Phil has predicted a winter 103 times and forecasted an early spring only 18 times. I mean, usually these things wind up being 50-50. You know, coin toss. It's a talking groundhog. It's a coin toss. But nah, Phil, Phil likes winter. Phil's a winter groundhog. So, 
whatever the groundhog says by you, I would just, uh, I'd pretty much disregard it. Because I don't listen to speaking woodland creatures. Listen to the Weather Channel or someone that might actually have a satellite in space. Um, all right, so that's big news. But the bigger news is what happened at UC Berkeley. What is going on here? Now they're saying it wasn't the students that started this big riot and the burning stuff and the pepper spraying people. And you know what? They said, they, some of you saw it on the video, this girl wearing what looked to be a Trump hat. I think it said, make Bitcoin great again. I don't think it said, make America great again. But she's doing an interview and someone comes up and they spray something in her face. So right away, oh, they pepper sprayed her, they maced her. You know what? That's best case scenario. It could have been a lot worse than that. Maybe it wasn't pepper spray. Maybe it wasn't mace. Oleo resin capsicum. Could have been a lot worse. I guess we'll never know. But what is going on here? Milo Yiannopoulos, of course, the Breitbart editor, he's been making this speaking tour. He's going around all the different colleges and he's riling people up. And this is what people like him do. And it's good. I love it. I love the fact that he draws in these people who want to suppress his speech. Here's a gay conservative, openly gay conservative, openly trolls people. He exercises his First Amendment at every single turn, and he waits for people to try and suppress him. See, when he gives a speech, it's not about the speech. It's about him being there. It's about his presence. And that's what he looks for. He's living it up today, loving this. They had to escort him out because they were burning. They were burning the Martin Luther King Jr. Union, student union. So much for free speech. But again, the college is saying it wasn't the students. It was this, this group, this anarchist, these agitators. They were calling them the black block or the blockheads, something like that. Now, let me ask you a question. If you're a parent, when you see this, what do you think about sending your student there? Because a lot of parents don't see their students as being these disruptors, these protesters, these rioters. They don't see it. Look at Mizu. After all the problems Mizu had a couple of years ago, their enrollment for the very next year was down 50%. You're going to have a hard time finding parents willing to pay to send their students there. Not to mention what sort of money is being thrown to UC Berkeley from the state of California. And how will California support that once they cal exit their way out of the union? Is that coming? Couldn't come soon enough. Should have come before last night. Take the 55 votes and leave already. All right, guys, hang in there. We'll be right back. You're listening to The Rhino Report, part of the RWB Network. Mortgage rates are at all-time lows. If you have not refinanced your current mortgage in the last few years, you could be losing thousands of dollars a year by paying too high of an APR. And the place to call is LendingTree. To find out how low you can go, we can match you with lenders offering some of the lowest rates APRs available. Some APRs are lower than 3%. Imagine how much money you can save every month if your current mortgage is at 6% or higher. And all it takes is one free call to LendingTree to match you with a lender who may be able to lower your current home mortgage rate. Learn how to potentially save thousands by refinancing your current mortgage. Call LendingTree right now. NMLS 1136. 800-628-5067. 800-628-5067. 800-628-5067. That's 800-628-5067. Let me take just a moment or two, if I may, and talk about a great place to eat. That's right. For you folks anywhere in the eastern San Fernando Valley, drop in to Bob's Big Boys. That's right. In Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. Now, everybody remembers the name Bob. They're getting bigger and bigger every day. And little old Bob carrying the hamburger in his checkered overalls is the same Bob that you remember from back through the years. 
And, of course, if you want to go in for a great lunch, remember their classic burger, the original double-deck hamburger combination. Delicious 100% pure ground beef in two patties with American cheese, lettuce, and our famous big boy special sauce. The name is Bob, and I think when you go in, you'll say, by golly, I'm sure glad that I found this restaurant because it's good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They've got all kinds of things, and all you have to do is remember. Bob's Big Boy in Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. It's a great place to eat. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy, and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. All right, guys, welcome back to the show, the Rhino Report. We've got lots to do. We're talking about UC Berkeley up in flames. Not the students' fault. It's this other group that's coming in that apparently uh, Oakland PD is aware of. If everybody's aware of them, why are they allowed on campus? Why was there only one arrest? I saw lots of fires. I saw broken windows. I saw some girl get sprayed in the face with what we hope is pepper spray. Could have been a lot worse. Where are they? One arrest? Really? How many pictures did you see Wednesday night of people bleeding and beaten up? Fires being set. Destruction. One arrest. Who gave the stand down order? Somebody gave it. You can't tell me they didn't. A stand-down order must have been given. And I alluded to it before the break. The Cal exit thing, you know what? There's a part of me that says, no, we can't lose California. We don't want to see our nation torn apart. But then you watch what happened on Wednesday night and you say, you know what? Go, go. We don't have to deal with this. And I put that on Twitter. And I get the responses. Well, well, California is the sixth largest economy in the world. It's the seventh largest economy in the world. You know why? You know why? Here's the answer. Because you have free trade with the biggest economy in the world. You have free trade with America. If you decide to leave, you will not have free trade with America. I'm tired of hearing that excuse. We can do it. We have the biggest economy. We're we're bigger than Thailand. I don't care. I don't care. You will not have it. With us, if you decide to leave. Not to mention, you're one drought away from not having a tomato in that state. One drought. Tell me how successful you'll be when everybody there that makes all the money within 50 miles of Hollywood and 50 miles of Silicon Valley, when they decide to leave. And you can't tax them. That's a very good 1% you have. I get that. But what happens when they leave? Because they will. Guess who becomes the next 1%? You. You do. California cannot exist on its own. It can't. You got to get your act together. And whenever these things happen, these riots, these protests, these they're not even snowflakes. You can't call them snowflakes. The snowflakes were the ones sitting there with signs saying, eh, we don't like Milo. Eh. Those are the snowflakes. The agitators, the anarchists, these are the ones you have to, you have to wipe them out. You got to mop them up. Maybe we should send them to Mexico irrespective of where they're actually from. Since Mexico seems to put a pipeline through its country and sends us everybody's rapists and murderers, let's send ours down there. Got to clean up your act. And I said on Twitter, whenever this happens, you create a thousand more Republican voters. You get people watching it on TV. I had so many tweets last night telling me they're Democrat, but they don't support this. And this is why they voted for Trump. 
This is not the Democrat Party they signed up for. I was getting them left and right. And then I get people saying, oh, a thousand new Repo What's your source? What's your source? Where are you? Your fake news. What's your source? My source is November 8th. That's my source. They just don't get it. We do not live in a country where you can throw Molotov cocktails anywhere. Anywhere. You know what? Because one day someone's going to catch it and they're going to throw it back. And that's going to be it. We are a divided country. I get that. We can't even get groundhogs to agree on something. I understand that. But that's when you get people in a room and you have a discussion. You don't act like animals. And that's what we're seeing. And it follows Milo around. I get that. But it's not just there. Every time something happens that someone doesn't disagree, that someone disagrees with, you have an uprising. You have cities on fire. And it's not Donald Trump's fault. This happened before Donald Trump was elected. Don't tell me Ferguson was Donald Trump's fault. Baltimore is Donald Trump's fault. Not even close. Not even close. So you got the xenophobes, the homophobes, the racists. They're out in force. UC Berkeley. Who would have thought? The self-proclaimed birthplace of free speech. Bull. Bull. It's the birthplace of little authoritarianism. That's what UC Berkeley is. It was cleverly packaged and PR'd as free speech. Was never the case. It's a little little enclave of people who don't want to listen. Who just want to do what they want to do. Who don't want to take a you know take into consideration any authority figures. That's not free speech. It's not what it is. What are they learning over there? Are they teaching them anything? Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. Trump wants to take their money away. If you don't let free speech exist on your campus, you do not get federal funds. And the governor of California needs to step in, too. California, your taxes are getting wasted, wasted on this. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about more wasted money. These Democrats not showing up to a committee. How hard is that? It takes 45 minutes to show up. They don't want to show up because they don't want to vote. Well, guess what? Republicans voted. And Scott Pruitt is going to be the next EPA secretary. Hang in there, guys. We'll be right back. Hey, guys. Ryan the Rhino DeSico here for my friends at Liberty HealthShare. If your health care has become a burden and you're worried about being stuck for another year, listen up because you do have options. Liberty HealthShare could be the solution to your problem. Open enrollment is here, and this could be your chance to free yourself from insurance. Take this opportunity and join Liberty HealthShare. You can finally be in control and have freedom when it comes to your health care. Liberty HealthShare offers an entirely open network, which means you choose your own doctors and you choose your own hospitals. Liberty HealthShare offers freedom from insurance, meaning there are no related tax penalties. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855 585 4237 or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. Do it today. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante in Fullerton, California for our sizzling party savings. Book your wedding event or reception, your birthday bash, or a special event of any kind and celebrate at Angelo's and Vinci's. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's and celebrate in one of our many festive banquet rooms. It's an incredible fun event you'll never forget. Food, music, and lots of fun. Call for the details and don't forget our daily lunch and dinners plus our Sunday champagne brunch. Just $14.95. Minestrone soup, sausage and peppers, pastas, chicken dishes, salads, scones and muffins. Plus so much more, a chocolate fondue fountain, zeppelins, cannolis, fresh fruit, champagne, and Junior will be waiting to make the omelet of your choice from our omelet bar. Angelo's and Vinci's has been voted on the Orange County Hot List as one of the top five Italian restaurants for the past six years. And don't forget our award-winning pizzas. Thin or thick, they're yummy. It's all at Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Call 714-879-4022. 714-879-4022. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you have severe knee or back pain and you have Medicare or private insurance, we have great news. Finally, there's a way to reduce your pain without surgery or taking medications. Call us today and learn how you can qualify to get a pain-relieving knee or back brace at little or no cost to you. We'll even ship your brace for free. 
If you have excruciating knee or back pain and you have Medicare or private insurance, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving, nearly invisible knee or back brace at little or no cost to you. I've used one. They're comfortable and they work and we guarantee your happiness. So call right now and get yours. I promise we're here to take your call. Thank you. 800-290-0759. 800-290-0759. That's 800-290-0759. This is Larry Minetti for her Herpanison. The acne medication that really works from the inside out. If you suffer from skin problems, Herpanison is the most unique and effective formula on the market. It cleans your skin from the inside out and gets rid of all kinds of acne and blemishes on your back, neck, and your face. It works so well, you can look and feel like a movie star. Herpanison, a natural supplement created by Dr. Wayne Diamond. You take a pill, and that's it. I've been on these supplements, and they really work, folks. Don't be afraid to look in the mirror ever again. Get Herpanison today. Day. Call 888 467 4200. That's 888 467 4200. Herpanison, it really works. 888 467 4200. Tell them Larry Minetti told you to call and look and feel like a million bucks with Herpanison. Call 888 467 4200. Show, check out all the old episodes on iTunes, TuneIn, Spreaker, Stitcher, Podbean, and iHeartRadio. All over. Can't avoid us. So mainstream media trying to show you that everybody hates Trump. They're going to put these protests on. They're going to play the footage. Even though it wasn't really against Trump, it was against Milo Wednesday night. But it's all about showing you how much people just dislike Trump. All the signs, the people showing up to the airports, that's what it's all about. It's all about trying to show you how wrong you were. Mainstream media is not saying, oh man, we goofed. We goofed. We totally misread the situation. No. They're telling you, you're wrong. You're wrong. Listen to us. Please come back. Baby, come back. That's what they want. That's where they keep showing you this stuff. And every single news story, they haven't changed. It's still alt-left extremist media trying to show you, the American people, the voter, that you are wrong. And what does Donald Trump do? He comes out in his first 13 days, and 60% of his contract with the American voter is already done. 60%. When have you ever seen government move at this pace? Democrats, they're trying to get government to slow down. Slow down. Pump the brakes. We're not going to show up for our committees. We're just going to stop. We're not going to show up. We'll make a statement. We're all in our offices. But we're not going to show up to a committee we were invited to be on. No. Trying to stop progress. The party of the progressives. Let that sink in because that's what's happening. They don't like who Donald Trump picked for his cabinet. Well, too flippin' bad. No one liked who Obama picked. And by the way, just as a little aside here, you didn't see a lot of protests with Obama when he was around and he went places. You know why? Because they enacted laws to prevent it. H.R. 347 prevents any protesting in any building or any grounds of any building where a Secret Service protected individual is a.k.a. the president. That's why you didn't see it. So Democrats trying to hold it up. Trying to hold it up. And Republicans are saying, no, no. Sorry, we have to get people through here. You need a health and human services secretary. You need a Department of the Treasury secretary. So Orrin Hatch had enough yesterday. He said, you know what? We're going to suspend rules. We're going to hold a voice vote. And we're going to send Steve Mnuchin and Tom Price to the Senate for a full vote, for confirmation. Because we cannot have a headless government, which is what they want. The Democrats want to stall everything. That way they can turn around in four years and say, see, they didn't do anything. See, you guys were wrong. And mainstream media can say, see, not yes, 
See? You guys were wrong. But no, Republicans are finally acting, finally seeing that they need to work. They need to get to work. It's been too many years. It's like a gear has been missing from the machine. So Orrin Hatch suspends rules on the Finance Committee. Mnuchin, Tom Price, going to be confirmed. And then you have today, John Barrasso suspends the rules for the, uh, the Environmental Committee to get Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt through. Because, once again, Democrats didn't show up. They didn't want to vote because once one Democrat shows up, they they can vote. So suspend the rules, have a voice vote, boom, and get it done. You need to have a government. They're trying to tear apart the government, the head of the government. That's what this is all about. They don't know what direction is up anymore. Do they align? With the likes of those who are protesting, rioting, and spraying people in the face with unknown substances? Or do they try to get their party back? They don't know. The average Democrat voter is looking at this saying, I didn't sign up for this. This is not my party. This is ridiculous. It's craziness. So... Now you have Pruitt, he'll go, he'll get confirmed. You can say sayonara to the EPA. Treasury's getting it cleaned up. Health and Human Services, finally we can work on replacing Obamacare. Because you can't do that without a Health and Human Services Secretary. You kind of need that, and the Democrats know that. Need it. So that happened. Finally, Rex Tillerson made his way to the State Department. This took too long. Why, why do you take weeks to give a secretary of state? It's the number one diplomat. But he was confirmed, and he went to the prayer breakfast this morning, and then he went to the State Department. He gave his little speech, as they all do when they first get, you know, they first get the, they take the oath, and they go over there, and they speak to everyone that works there. And Tillerson did a good job. He's the 69th secretary of state, just FYI. And he said, listen, not all of you are in favor of who won the presidential election. But we have to put that aside because we work for the citizens. We work to keep the country safe. So you have to put aside whatever it is you think, right or wrong, about Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump or whomever. And that's a good message. You have to work together. Our safety is always paramount. And there are a lot of people employed by the State Department who take care of us, who make sure we're safe. So I thought it was a good speech. I thought he did a good job. He came in a few jokes. He was running like 45 minutes to an hour late, coming from the prayer breakfast to uh, this uh, little speech he was given in the lobby of the State Department. And he says... Uh, Sorry I'm late. I guess they wanted uh, to pray a little bit longer today. And uh, yeah, they kind of laughed. It was a light moment. Add some levity to the situation. I like that. I think he did good there. I think he's going to be a good Secretary of State. Again, you're talking about a business person. Somebody who just, they know how to get things done. Successful people in business don't get there by doing nothing. By taking excuses. No, they just know how to keep the machine rolling forward. And that's what Rex Tillerson is going to do. I like it. I think it's a good thing. I think all of Trump's picks are pretty good. They're pretty on point, especially his SCOTUS pick. Very good. When we come back, I do want to talk about Trump's big, beautiful wall. And is Megyn Kelly already making enemies at NBC, one of their top anchors just left.
He resigned, left millions on the table. We'll be the back. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call Smart Fares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and Smart Fares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call Smart Fares. Plus, save up to 75% on your plane reservation. So call right now. 800 905-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante in Fullerton, California for our sizzling party savings. Book your wedding event or reception, your birthday bash, or a special event of any kind and celebrate at Angelo's and Vinci's. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's and celebrate in one of our many festive banquet rooms. It's an incredible fun event you'll never forget. Food, music, and lots of fun. Call for the details and don't forget our daily lunch and dinners plus our Sunday champagne brunch. Just $14.95. Minestrone soup, sausage and peppers, pastas, chicken dishes, salads, scones and muffins. Plus so much more, a chocolate fondue fountain, zeppelins, cannolis, fresh fruit, champagne, and Junior will be waiting to make the omelet of your choice from our omelet bar. Angelo's and Vinci's has been voted on the Orange County Hot List as one of the top five Italian restaurants for the past six years. And don't forget our award-winning pizzas. Thin or thick, they're yummy. It's all at Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Call 714-879-4022. 714-879-4022. Two. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Check out the old episodes, iTunes, TuneIn, Streaker, Stitcher, Pod, Bean, or iHeartRadio, and check out RhinoReport.com. Lots of cool stuff there. Some new Rhino rants are up there. Some new articles are up there, so you got to check that out. Now, we're on the Donald Trump Twitter watch before we get into the big, beautiful wall and Megyn Kelly making all sorts of friends at NBC. He takes to Twitter and says, if UC Berkeley does not allow free speech and practices violence on innocent people with a different point of view, no federal funds, question mark? Yeah, that's that's pretty much how this works. If you're not going to allow people to speak freely, then you lose the money. They were saying free speech isn't hate speech. No, guess what? It may be unsavory. It may be. Things that are said you may not like. But people are still allowed to say them. There is no curtailing free speech in this country. You can't slander people. That's a whole different thing. You can't willfully, maliciously slander somebody. But if you have an opinion, you are allowed to say it. That's the beauty of our First Amendment. If you listen to talk radio, you're listening to the First Amendment. And there's talk radio on both sides. You listen to that NPR garbage. They're exercising it too. I know they shouldn't, but but they are. And we do it here. So Trump is right. People don't want to think about it. It's, It's only free speech when it's the left. When it's the right, it's hate speech. Mainstream media classifies it that way. The loony alt left, they classify it that way. It's time we took back the meaning of free speech. It's time we took it back. Maybe Donald Trump's going to do that. Um, Speaking of Trump, his wall should be ready in about two years. Yeah, about two years. That's awfully ambitious. I've worked in construction for a long time. Two years for a 700-mile wall. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure he can do it. But that is an awfully ambitious number for any any general contractor. And, uh, yeah, that's what... uh, Uh, The Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly said, he was on Fox, and he said this, and he goes, we're going to build it where we need it first, as identified by the men and women who work the border. Gee, what a novel concept. Ask the people who work there where they're interceding those coming over the border. Instead of saying, ah, we'll put a fence here and a fence there, because this is level, and, 
and it's hard to build over there. Well, guess what? They know that. They know where it's hard to build. That's why they're walking through that way. They also asked him on Fox. Uh, there, there were reports that, that Secretary Kelly did not know that Trump was going to sign the executive order banning the travel, blah, blah, blah. And he said, no, I knew it was coming. He goes, I knew. I, was, I saw the first couple versions of it, and it was just a matter of when it was coming out. Again, media trying to say that Donald Trump is ruling with an iron fist, and that's how he's going to do things. He's a dictator. He's like Hitler, he's a Nazi, he's a fascist, he's a this, he's a that, he's something else. He bathes in Cheeto dust. No, they knew. Don't think for a second he didn't know. Secretary Kelly knew, that's his department. But putting the wall where you need it first, what, what a, I mean, that's a private industry idea, and it sounds so simple. But government does not work on the wavelength of efficiency. That's not how they do things. So, they say, listen, if that's where they're coming in, if you had, if you were in a rowboat, and all of a sudden, there was a hole in the rowboat, do you think you would try to plug that hole, or would you rest of the boat first and put some patches here and there? No, you go plug the hole. This is very, very simple stuff. A kindergartner could figure this stuff out. It took Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Mr. Constitutional Lawyer Barack Obama couldn't figure it out. No surprise there. Um, all right, let's move on. Let's go to our our lifestyle portion of the show. Megan Kelly. <laughs> it just it seems like she doesn't have any friends. I almost feel bad for her. I think any friends she have, she's their friends because she's Megan Kelly, not because she's an especially nice, good person, but. Apparently, they took away this Today's Take, which was on NBC, and it was Tamron Hall and, uh, who was that weather guy, uh, Al Roker. They hosted this show together, and they're taking, a, they're taking the show away to make room for Megyn Kelly's show. Seems like a bad idea, if you ask me, but I'm not in charge of NBC, so it's not my call. That Today's Take was doing better than Kelly Ripa in the same time slot. And she was getting great ratings, Tamron Hall, when she was filling in for Lester Holt on the nightly news. So what Miss Hall decided was she was told just minutes before going on air that they were getting canceled come September to make room for Megan Kelly. And she left. She said, I'm out of here. I'm gone. <laughs> she left money on the table. I guess she had a big contract that was waiting for her. And she left that money on the table. Uh, but she's still going to host Deadline Crime on Investigation Discovery, if you happen to have that channel. And you have to have five satellite dishes to get that channel, probably. But she's going to host that. And Megan Kelly, she doesn't care. She has, she has, uh, she's gone, she left, who cares? They said there was a lot of crying going on when she left. Tamron Hall was, yeah, the crying, eh, whatever. No one's going to watch that show anyway. I'm sure she's rooting for its success, right? All right, when we come back, one more quick little break, guys. I want to talk about a poll that has to do with Donald Trump's executive order, and I want to tell you about a coffee company, a coffee company. You have to throw your Starbucks away and start buying this product, guys. Hang in there. You're listening to The Rhino Report, defending liberty one hour at a time on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Let me take just a moment or two, if I may, and talk about a great place to eat. That's right. For you folks anywhere in the eastern San Fernando Valley, drop in to Bob's Big Boys. That's right. In Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. Now, everybody remembers the name Bob's. They're getting bigger and bigger every day. Little old Bob carrying the hamburger in his checkered overalls is the same Bob that you remember from back through the years. And, of course, if you want to go in for a great lunch, remember their classic burger. The original double-deck hamburger combination. Delicious 100% pure ground beef in two patties with American cheese, lettuce, and our famous Big Boy special sauce. The name is Bob, and I think when you go in, you'll say, by golly, I'm sure glad that I found this restaurant because it's good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They've got all kinds of things, and all you have to do is remember. 
Bob's Big Boy in Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. It's a great place to eat. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy, and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent and help you can always get fast help and fast answers so on your next trip maybe today maybe tomorrow how about right now pick up your phone and call smart fares plus save up to 75 percent in your plane reservation so call right now 800 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. So you've missed the health care deadline and don't have any form of health care? Liberty HealthShare has the answer. Liberty HealthShare offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. For those of you who have already enrolled but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty HealthShare allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care, yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty HealthShare empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, call 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org to request a free estimate. Do it today. This is Jeff Carlisi from the Band 38 Special. Let us never forget that police lives matter. You're listening to the Rhino Report, always right, on the RWB Network. The Republicans want to repeal it. You know, they actually, with a straight face, say that the Great Recession was was caused by too much regulation on Wall Street. They actually say that. You know, I remember when, you know, I've I've supported my husband through all of his races in Arkansas. And I, I, one of my favorite, favorite political ads of all time was a radio ad, rural Arkansas, where the announcer said, wouldn't it be great if somebody running for office said something, we could have an immediate reaction as to whether it was true or not? Well, we've trained this dog. And the dog, if it's not true, he's going to bark. And then the dog was barking on the, on the radio. And so, you know, people were, like, barking at each other for days after that. I- I'm trying to figure out how we can do that with the Republicans. You know, we need, we need to get that dog and follow, follow them around. And every time they say these things, like, oh, you know, the Great Recession was caused by too much regulation. Arf, 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 you know? I, I think we could, we could cut right through a lot of their, uh, you know, their claims. All right, guys, welcome back to this Rhino Report episode, part of our weekend edition. 
All right, so I don't normally tell you you should go out or suggest to you. I don't tell you anything. Suggest to you to go out and buy a product, especially not one that I'm not getting paid to do. But Black Rifle Coffee Company, this is this was a, founded by a veteran named Evan Haffer. All right, and he was responding to Howard Schultz. Howard Schultz is the CEO of Starbucks. And of course, we talked about it earlier in the week that Howard Schultz said he's going to hire 10,000 refugees and they're going to pour coffee or grind the beans or something. And so what Black Rifle Coffee Company said, uh, Evan Haffer, he said, you know, we're going to hire veterans. We're going to hire 10,000 veterans. Look at that. Look at that. What a great idea. So while Starbucks wants to hire the refugees, this guy wants to hire veterans. Hmm. Once again, it takes private business to pick up the slack for something like the VA. He said in a statement here, We want to shift the conversation away from foreign policy to domestic issues that hit closer to home. We need to keep in mind that the four things we care about at Black Rifle Coffee Company are family, business, veterans, and country. And when we say country, the taxpayers. Everyone else can take a hike. That's what he says. And then he has the, uh, if, if you're a veteran, hey, it, it's careers at blackriflecoffee.com. So if you're a veteran looking uh, for a career in the Java business, careers at blackriflecoffee.com. Go check them out. And I'm going to check them out online and order me some. That's what I'm going to do. And throw my Starbucks clear in the garbage. I did that already. I did it months ago. I used to make the baristas, the, whatever they call them, write like vote Trump and MAGA on the cups. They hated me, hated me. But I made them do it anyway. And then one time they didn't, so I just decided, you know what? That $4 just cost you a customer. Um, last little bit here. There's some polling out uh, as it re in reference to Donald Trump's executive order banning the travel to those terrorist countries. Um, and you know what? The polling shows Americans are by large in favor. And these are reputable polling companies. I'm not giving you PPP numbers or CNNORC. I'm giving you real numbers here. This is a Reuters poll. Now, Reuters is uh, notoriously left. We read their polls throughout the, the election process. They were way off. They were 30% off. This says 49% agree with it. 40% disagree with the ban, the executive order banning the travel for 90 and 120 days. And that you know that's with a, a, a sampling. That's as low as they can get that sampling to give them a positive or favorable result. Uh, 57%, according to Rasmussen, are in favor of Donald Trump's executive order. 48% support and 42 oppose, according to Quinnipiac. So you have a Q poll, a Rasmussen poll, and a Reuters poll, all showing that Americans, by and large, support Donald Trump's executive order. You hear the left screaming, the left saying... But maybe we have to let in refugees because Syria is a war-torn country. War-torn. Well, let's just go over the numbers really quickly before we have to go here. The Syrian civil war started in 2011. Okay? In 2011, Obama took in 29. 29 refugees. 2012, 31. 2013, 36. It wasn't until the last couple of years that he started taking them in mass probably needed to inflate the voter rolls a little bit. He saw Hillary Clinton was a terrible candidate. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you had a good time. Check out rhinoreport.com. You guys know to do that. Articles, rhino rants, newsletter stuff there. But uh, thank you for listening today, and a big thank you to all those serving our country at home and abroad, and a huge thank you to those in the law enforcement community. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for all the hard work. Please keep it up, and please stay safe. God bless all of you. God bless all of your families. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. And until tomorrow, I'm the Rhino, and I'm out.